Hi, I'm Legolock, a Legacy Locked Iron Man. I'm an RS3 player locked into the Legacy Combat Mode and the Legacy Interface, which means I can't use any abilities. I have quite big plans including, but not limited to, the Reaper Crew achievement, full best in slot gear, and even solo 100% Zamorak. I'm playing modern day RuneScape in an old school way. This will not be easy, but fortunately, I love a good challenge. I'm Legolock, and welcome to my journey. Dude, Aiea has been a breath of fresh air. I mean, I've already got the Necklace of Salamancy. I ended up getting the Dinosaur Tooth not too long after that. All of this mush for POF is great. And I got my first Blowpipe piece. So just, I think, four more pieces. And then some Jadinkos and a Simitops. And funny enough, I was just saying this on stream last night, but what I need is Spark Chitin. And Simitops drop Spark Chitin because this will make it so I'm able to make Adrenaline Crystals out of my inert Adrenaline Crystals to make higher tier Adrenaline Potions. This is going to be required because with the Omni Guard, I have a new special attack I can use every 60 seconds. So any extra Adrenaline I can get, I will have to take. That is 104 Herb Lore. Let's go, dude. And that is another Raziel Reaper, 27 points, 33,000 Slayer experience. Dude, a sub five. Sub five is very regular with the Omni Guard. And there is 93 summoning. The first set of Spark Chitin. Let's go, dude. Dang, dude. Another PB. Let's go. 107.8. Yo, <laughs> my second crest of Zamorak. Let's go, dude. This world will burn. Actually, I should probably just deal with this. Nice, dude. Feeling kind of swell, if I'm to be honest. You actually think that this will work, don't you? That Gothix's old tricks will stop me again? Chaos unfettered! Yo, let's go. That was good. Just gotta heal up a little bit. This is no longer amusing. Mortal should not play with power meant for gods. I will tear you asunder. Oh gosh. My call. Feel the rage of a god. Oh, bro, the enhanced devoted procs are coming in clutch. You dare defy me. I who commanded the greatest armies in history. I who made All right, here we go, boys. This world will <laughs> Let's go, dude. 13 minutes and 20 seconds. Let's go. First Zami kill on the account. Let's freaking go, dude. Let's see what we get. Bro. <laughs> Four mil. Let's go, bro. That's so good. Raw Rocktails. Dude, Alcavals out the wazoo. Sick. I think I... There's a decent chance that I'll be able to do this, actually. You may think you hear it speaking. Look at that. Phase one down. Bro, no way I'm able to do Raksha this early. The shadow grows thicker. You must defeat him quickly. Oh no way, dude. These are actually working really well. Good call on the chins, boys. Oh gosh. Woo! Insect. Do not let him absorb the shadow. Flame insect. 
sacked. Whew. Dang, dude, that's tough. That's tough. That's the phase that's gonna get me for sure. Okay, I think I think this might be pretty doable, if I'm to be honest. Frick, bro. Ah, would smoke devil smoke uh one shot all the pools? I don't know. Uh, but I need I would probably need Hellhound or Blood Reaver to get through this, to be honest. Boys, let's go. Phase four. Hey yo, editor Rayo here. Just so you are not caught off guard, the next few clips got very corrupted. I don't exactly know what happened, but essentially <laughs> it's just not visible as you can see on screen. So I'm going to bust out my forbidden MS paint skills to reenact exactly what happened. Let's go, baby. Nice, another so tick sad. improvement. We're at 806.6. Heck yeah, bro. Let's go, dude. Dude. 12.6 seconds PB. Let's go, bro. Sub eight. Huge. Your thoughts betray you. Dang, bro, those pools were clean. I gotta be honest. <laughs> oh, I think I'll one cycle suck. I think I'll be okay. Yeah, I got this for sure. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> this is sick. Dang, okay, we'll two cycle Harakin. We've gotten to Zuck. This is wild, bro. Dude, this might actually be possible. That actually might be possible, dude. Come on. Oh, we just got through it without a dart. Dang it, dude. Oh man, that's hard. It's very RNG based for sure. Nah. Dang, dude. So far, it's unreliable. Serenic Chaps. They have a full on power range setup now. Oh my gosh, we look freaking awesome. Easy 109 invention. Let's go, dude. Bro, I was not recording because I didn't think I needed to, but dude, I just got super lucky. I was in IAEA. I got a Simitops unchecked, so that was my second. And then now I'm trying out the incubation process for some fire making experience and I get another Simitops. It's like the game just knew I needed Spark Chitin. Coming in with 94 fire making, another livid plant, another unlock at livid farm. We're actually very, very close to getting the f all of livid farm unlocked. Less than 2k points. I might just have to do that myself. And here comes another upgrade for the base camp on Anachronia. Let's go. Tier 3 Slayer Lodge. So this unlocks the passive Slayer Helm stand, or whatever you call it. Uh, but I don't have the Slayer Helmet yet, so... Still have some work to do there, but once I do get it, it'll be very, very good. Accidentally missed this, but we just got 88 range from the KBD event. Hey, bro. We'll take a 2.4 second improvement. Let's go, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. PB? Holy. <laughs> dude, a 433. Let's go, dude. Oh, this might be a PB, boys. Holy. Nine seconds, dude. A 424. Insane, dude. Well, seeing as I am, let's see, 428,660 current produce, and I only need 430,000, I figure I might as well just finish the vid farm. 
Oh, and would you look at that? We are at 430,000. Time to learn borrowed power. Let's freaking go, bro. That is livid farm completed. Well, after getting all that done, it is time to get back to doing some Raziel. I have 10 to do for this Reaper, so let's see if we get any luck. First drop is nothing. Holy. Holy PB. Six seconds. We're at a 418. Let's go, dude. This is going so good. Man, I love the Omni Guard, bro. And Hydrix Bolt Tips. Another set of Hydrix Bolt Tips. Ooh, Soul Runes. These are good. These are great to replenish the Vuln Bombs. Final kill of the Reaper is more Necronium Salvage. Unfortunate, no drop. But we are sitting at, let's see, 277. Still very smoothed on the log. Dang, dude. So that was a, an 11 kill hour. I'm pretty sure. Because I just did one extra. I just got Hydrix Bolt Tips. But 11 kills in that whole entire aura. Pretty darn good. I'm, I'm pretty pleased with that. OmniGuard has made a massive difference along with the Vuln Bombs and everything else, dude. I'm just loving where this account is at. Feels great. Oh, and there is 95 fire making coming on in, which unlocks uh, quite a few things. Main thing is the three incense sticks at the same time, which will be good for later PVM. Now I can fully make, or at least get all of the Dynero components and then boost to make Dynero's, which is pretty nice. Now something that um, is probably going to be next goal that I go for right now is getting 96 Slayer. Or I really don't need the Slayer requirement, but I probably will just because it's a good thing to work on well, getting my other stats up. But uh, 96 summoning as well, because I want to unlock Ripper Demons. From a few days ago, we got all the way to Zuck, and the only issue that we have with Zuck is not being able to get the pizza phase done. So there's a high chance that I'd be able to unlock the best in slot capes if I had the Ripper Demon. I was able to clear out the range minion during the pizza phase uh, without a Ripper Demon and just a Hellhound, but it's not consistent enough. But with the Ripper Demon, I might be able to use Ripper Scrolls and boost eventually to make spiritual prayer potions or just summoning potions. That way I can rejuvenate my uh, summoning points or special move points, and I'd be able to just nuke down the Ranger from the pizza phase. So if I can do that, then I'd be able to save on Death Touch Starts just to get the Igneous Stone for all of my capes because I don't need a flawless run. The only time I need a flawless run is to unlock hard mode and then also a flawless run in hard mode to combine all of the capes. So to get the summoning requirement, I'm probably going to have to farm a little bit of Arch Glacier to get uh, Water Talismans. That just seems to be the best way to get summoning experience right now and it's quite fast. So a little bit of Arch Glacier grinding here and there with some Slayer. Oh, look at that. That is 95 Slayer. That unlocks quite a lot, actually. Abyssal Savages, Gemstone Dragons, Wilderness Slayer, Legions, Ganos. Huge unlocks. That is Crystal Shapeshifters down. 292 Slayer points. Let's go get another task. Ooh, Corrupted Creatures or Dark Beasts. I think I'm going to try Corrupted Creatures. Let's see what I can do. Yeah, I can do Scarabs. Okay, sweet. I can avoid the bots, so Corrupted Creatures. Let's go for it. That is my first Vital Spark on the collection log. That is another Slayer task all done. That brings us up to 314 points. And we got a key to the crossing. Let's see what our next task is. Lava Strike Worms have the potential to drop a component for Tier 85 Bow, Staff, or Main Hand. So let's go ahead and knock those out. Oh, that's nice. Unexpected 110 farming. Nice that makes us able to breed Sciatops, which I got a few of actually. So I think that is pretty regular access to Spark Chitin. And there's 89 ranged. A very long, but very worth and easy task. On to the next one. Dinosaurs are it because I need some totem pieces. And I think there's a safe spot so I could use a lance or I could range. Oh yeah, dude. Oh, yep. This will work out just fine. Well, good morning. It is new quest day, Requiem of a Dragon. And uh, 
total unexpected update is the Pernix armor update. Dude, I'm looking freaking juiced. But we're going to go ahead and start off today by just doing our dailies as we always do. Because uh, I want to make sure I get those done. And that is going to bring me to 105 herb lore after I do my three jacket trades. So let's get to it. In comes 105 herb lore. Let's go, dude. Power burst of vitality is officially unlocked so we don't have to boost for it we get the increased herby Werby experience so that is just super good this is like a hundred thousand experience per week just from herby Werby. nice that is 60 tasks in a row for 110 points holy crap that puts us at 446 points let's go dude oh man okay now we can finally unlock the ability to make the slayer mask let's go slayer helmet is unlocked we don't have any of the components to make it but <laughs> We do have uh, the ability to make it now, so that'll be good. So once we get the black mask, we'll be we'll be on our way. Let's see what our next task is. Ooh, note on Dragonkin, 100%. Let's get some cannon upgrade kits, baby. This is actually going to be a pretty <laughs> pretty darn hard task, if I'm going to be honest. Uh... <laughs> I might actually need to use Necromancy for this. Oh yeah, this is like a night and day difference. Holy crap. This is so much faster, dude. Bro, so I've only just figured out the greatness of the Siege Engine, but for this account at least, I'll be able to one-shot Dragonkin <laughs> with this thing. It feels so good, and it actually counts for the Slayer task, and it gives the experience. Definitely gonna be making use of this during these tasks. Ooh, that's a good level 96 Slayer. Let's go, dude. We can get raptor tasks now so ripper demons are on the table let's freaking go bro 